You can be in the water that heals and not be healed. Because you have not valued the presence, the tangibility of God's presence. The same Ebenezer where they pitched and they were defeated. They pitched in the same Ebenezer and they had victory. The help of God was provided for them the other day. But the Bible said through their sins, when the psalmist was to write it, it the, the Bible said he said that they limited the Holy One of Israel. God can be limited by our dispositions. The Bible said that Jesus came to Nazareth, to Capernaum, very close to Nazareth. The Bible said and he could not do any mighty works. Capernaum is like Obago, and then Nazareth is like Amity, just the same people. And he could not do any mighty work. Not, he will not. He could not. He tried. That day Jesus prayed for the blind and the blind didn't see. He prayed for the cripple and the cripple didn't walk. Do you know why? Immediately he entered. They said, ah, this boy, this is the son of Joseph. Now, even his father is holding my stool. They have not finished doing my chair my size table and he has left my side table to come and say he's preaching the bible says he could not do any mighty work because of their unbelief and jesus said a prophet is without honor in his place i know it is not like that here somebody called me a lady from outside the nation and she told me she sees how i prophesy to some people and now they are saying yes, they are reluctant. And she keeps screaming. How is it that this oil is close to these people and they don't understand it? He said in the entire UK, before you see a church where flames rise, sometimes you have to take train for more than one hour to see one. He said they don't have a challenge with serving breakfast. He said because the glory is not in many places there, they have to give you food morning and afternoon to come to church. And still people are not coming. That's why many men of God, the power of the Lord flows more when they go for outreaches and other places. Because their people have become so used to them. So used to them. Are you hungry? Did you even show up in this meeting with hunger? Lord, either you answer me or you answer me. There is no alternative. You will either answer me or you answer me. In Mark chapter 5 verse number 25, the scripture chronicles the story of a woman whose name was not mentioned. They called her the woman of the issue of blood. She came to where Jesus was. She had only one word. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. I will be made whole. She pressed through the crowd and laid hold on his garment and the fountain of her blood dried up. Jesus screamed, who touched me? Peter said, sir, but thousands of people have been touching you. Jesus said, you don't understand. There is a touch that came from the capital place of hunger. There is a touch that has made a difference. There is a touch that has made a difference. I know a man that God has blessed through a man that God has placed a burden upon. There is no initiation that takes place without tools. Any initiation, court initiation, there must be tools. Tools. They must cut you. There must be a calabash where you take oath. One of the tools of divine initiation is hunger. That's the primary tool. The primary tool of divine initiation is hunger. When a man comes with hunger, God doesn't bless the man with material things. He blesses the man with burdens. He places it on the shoulder of the man. And the man makes seeking God his life's goal. Sometimes you want to sleep in the night. The Holy Ghost wakes you up. To begin to intercede. God has blessed you when he travels through you to touch people. God has blessed you when he makes you a conduit to reach others. 
How is it that someone is sleeping and has not dreamt about death and you are the one who saw it? The Lord passed the one who has the death coming and then came to a man who knows nothing about the death. You think that God just showed you that. He trusts you so much so you can stand in between the living and the dead to intercede. God has blessed you when he begins to reach your generation through you. So spiritual hunger is vital to divine equipping. God cannot equip a man who is not hungry. Many blind people, we are in that pool of crowd, congregation. It was one man that keeps screaming, Jesus, son of David. They told him, shut up. He kept screaming, Jesus, son of David. And then Jesus turned and he became his turn. He said, what would I do for you? He said that I might see. Do you know a scripture I read. Till now I have not understood it. Not that I didn't understand what the Bible is saying. But I have not understood. Why those people acted the way they acted. In John chapter 5. The Bible said that there was a pool in Bethesda. That had five porches. Five canopies. It's a symbolism of grace. And Bethesda in Hebrew simply means mercy. So it was a pool of mercy. But why is it that the pool of mercy depended on the effort of men to be healed? Because by that time, Jesus had not died. You know, you cannot read the will of a man until the man is dead. So the testator of the will has not died. So they had not come into the fullness of the promises of God. There was a man who stayed in that pool for 38 years. Three decades and eight He lost hope. And the Bible said the, the angel was coming down in every season. So once in a year. So he lost 38 experiences. 38 times he lost out. Do you know what shook me, sir? When Jesus came, he asked the woman, would that be made whole? The man. The man said, I have no man. He didn't say, I have no man. He said, I have no man. A man was standing before you. And you said, I have no man. But if you read that scripture very well, the Bible says when Jesus saw him, he knew he had been in that case. So as a result of what he was going through, he had already been prejudiced in his mind. His mindset was already obscured. Jesus said, get up. Carry what has been carrying you and go home. Sir, have you wondered why? They saw a man crippled for 38 years walking and no other person rushed after Jesus. Have you wondered why a woman touched the cloth of Jesus and the fountain of her blood dried up and Jesus still wore clothes? Jesus still wore clothes. Because what I was expecting is that Jesus would have gone naked that day. If touching a hair, the hem, the weakest part of the cloth, that's the thread that protrudes from the cloth. If touching a hem can make a woman who had bled for several years to get healed instantly, I expected them to start tearing the real thing. They still left him and he walked home. Blind Bartimaeus was healed in that pool. They still left him. He walked home. People get so familiar with God. It is not attending crusades. It is not enough to be a member of Pi family. If you are not connected, you can't carry water. It is connectivity that determines your collection. Until you are connected, you cannot collect. So you can be present and still not collect. One of the greatest things God does in the life of a man 
anytime he wants the man to journey with him is to give the man hunger. 